Oops. This video was supposed to be out by now. There's been so much support on the other two videos over the last two years that I at least wanted to finish what I started. Yup. You know what's coming, right? I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. And excuse me, what the fuck? Technically, that's not wrong because these are the quote unquote sexy picks for your team, meaning the best options for your team. Keeping things in chronological order, we'll be covering Ruby and Sapphire today. Specifically Sapphire, since both games have different trainers to deal with. All this is calculated with a formula ranking matchups from negative 4 to 4. With all this data pulled together, we'll find out who truly are the best individual Pokemon of the Hoenn region in Pokemon Sapphire. If you want to see who's the best starter or what the best team is for Hoenn, I suggest you check out Arizo and Mystic Umbreon's videos respectively. Without those videos, this video probably wouldn't exist. But I don't mean to rain on anyone's parade, let's get right into the top 6 best Pokemon for your Hoenn team. Sapphire Edition. One of the most common Pokemon I see in teams for Hoenn is Manectric, and for a good reason. It's not good at all in Pokemon Ruby, but in Sapphire, it's a strong offensive Pokemon for the story, especially with how early you can find it in the game. Once you arrive in Slateport, you can go right up north to scoop yourself up an Electric on Route 110. While it won't help you for most of the gym leaders right after you catch it, it's a must use against Team Aqua. Their reliance on water types will be their downfall. The second half of the game, it does a lot better dealing with the likes of Wynona's flying types and Wallace's water types, as well as May. As long as you didn't pick Torchic. If he did, well... Ouch. Other than that, Manectric doesn't necessarily have any advantages in the Elite Four, actually struggling against Drake. It's the middle of the road for a Pokemon, but having an electric type is pretty vital for the story. When you finally can make it to Duford Town, you can pick the best fighting Pokemon in the game, Hariyama. Well, story-based anyways. It's all about the timing. Pick up the THICK Makihita in Granite Cave and you have a decent tank that can run over a lot of the competition. Team Aqua is not a problem because they love feeding you dark types for breakfast. I CAN'T ENJOY MY BREAKFAST! It's mostly okay against the gym leaders, having the best success against Norman and Watson because Watson has too many steel types. It does have trouble against Winona and Liza and Tate. I wouldn't advise leaving Hariyama in against these two leaders. This Pokemon is THICK, but it's not that thick. There are limits, but you don't have to limit it in the Elite Four. It doesn't have to worry about getting hit for super effective damage at all, just one immunity in Phoebe as it's not going to connect with any attacks against her Pokemon, but you may need Phoebe's help to communicate with the other three Elite Four members of Sydney, Glacia, and Steven since you just send them to the Shadow Realm. Sure, you can find a better fighting type later on in the game, but at that point, all the advantages are gone since the second half of the game, they will struggle. Once you go THICK, you'll end all your battles quick. One topic we never cover is who is a better Pokemon for your team defensively. Let me tell you, Skarmory easily fills this role. The Steel Flying type combination is already durable enough as it is, but it also comes with two immunities of Poison and Ground. Just wait till you reach Route 113 to find one of these Pokemon. Try not to do it in the morning though. <coughs> I can't enjoy my breakfast! But as long as you have a Skarmory in your team, you can be confident in the fact that you can resist most of the gym leaders. Norman, Wynona, and Liza and Tate, but it struggles against Wallace, and gets turned into fried chicken against Flannery. Barbecue chicken. Don't eat it though. Ow! Surprisingly, it struggles against May just as much as I do with the ladies. Uh, I asked if your dad's pretty cute. Mm -hmm. But when the rival flips to Wally instead, you just flat out wall him. In its one and only offensive advantage, it's able to deal with Glacia, but it finds a way versus Drake and its dragons due to its resistances. Usually I don't spotlight the best defensive Pokemon, but you know what they say, defense wins championships. If you want a team based around defense, I gotta say, Pokemon Sapphire has the best options. Not only is Skarmory a great choice, but you also head back to Granite Cave to find the number three best Pokemon, Sableye. You're probably thinking, why am I watching this idiot talk? More specifically, why Sableye? Well, this was before the time of the fairies, which meant that Sableye had no weaknesses. That's pretty much all I had going for it, since it wasn't exactly the strongest of the bunch. 
During the game, it would likely struggle a bit against Team Aqua with their constant dark spam, but the silver lining is it always had a good shot against every gym leader, especially the three that it's great against as it walls both Brawly and Norman via immunity and is strong against Liza and Tate. It does want to take a back seat in the Elite Four as it's only strong against Phoebe, while both Sydney and Steven can outlast it as they both resist its stab moves of Ghost and Dark. Take your shot while you have the chance, it will soon have all the fairies running it over. Now here's the thing. The Steel type is already a great defensive matchup for the story of Sapphire. However, matching it with the offensive Electric type basically breaks the game in half. Magneton is next on the list, and it's finally able to be caught after getting the Balance Badge from Norman as you need access to HMO3 Surf to access New Mauville. Once you snag yourself a Magnemite, you can then start electrocuting everything in sight. Kinda like this! Pretty much you want to use Magneton every time you face Team Aqua. It resists every Dark-type move, and dumpsters every Water-type they have. Not only is Magneton strong against Team Aqua, but basically the rest of the game. With only three remaining Gym Leaders, are you surprised it's strong against them too? Strong against Wynota's Flying Types, walling the Psychic Type of Liza and Tate, which they are also Rock-type, which is weak to Magneton's Steel-type, and again with Wallace's Water-types. It's not all Guns and Roses though. It does have issues in the only battle with Mei, and when you get to the Elite Four, well, welcome to the jungle! They've got fun and games. You either wall out, or get walled out. It can deal with the first half of Sydney, Phoebe, and Glacia, but give it a rest against Drake and Steven. Most of these have a bunch of ground-type moves, or just wall Magneton out. But outside of those three trainers, you need to use Magneton, as it's a core piece to any team in Pokémon Sapphire. Before we find out who the best Pokemon is in Pokemon Sapphire, let's look through some honorable mentions. Walrein. It's not bad, you just get it so late in the game that it has little to no impact. Breloom. Great combination of grass and fighting to feed off a of Team Aqua and five of the gym leaders. That quad weakness, however, holds it back. Swampert. The best starter for Sapphire hands down. Unfortunately, there are just better water types in a game that doesn't exactly need a water type as a must-have outside of HMs. Registeel, the best legendary to use. Unfortunately, you need access to Dive, a Wailord, and a Relicanth, which is just very tedious to work for just a defensive wall. There are far better Steel types. But who is the best Pokémon for your Hoenn team in Sapphire? Let's get in and find out. Lo and behold, the best Pokémon for your Hoenn team in Sapphire is actually a Pokémon you can find early on. Just walk east, out of Petalburg City to Route 104 to find yourself a Lotad. This Pokémon's combination of grass and water fundamentally break the game, since you have access to pretty much all of the important moves. Let's break it down. May really isn't a challenge, since it wrecks your Firewater Grass Core. Swallow, on the other hand, is a big NOPE! Team Aqua gets completely danced upon, as it can't even touch Ludicolo. You're gonna be dancing like a Ludicolo when you see their matchup against the Gym Leaders in the Elite Four! It's great against Roxanne, Flannery, Liza and Tate, and Wallace. Wynona is the only trainer from the Hoenn League to give Ludicolo a struggle. There are worse matchups, though. Drake and Steven would make you want to wake up underwater for some reason. I can't do the breakfast! But overall, Ludicolo is a great Pokémon to pair with others such as Magneton, as it would give it that one-two punch throughout the story. Well, that about wraps up this video for the top 6 best Pokémon for your Hoenn team in Pokémon Sapphire. I'll see you in 2022 as we cover Pokémon Ruby. I'm, I'm kidding. I want to return to this series because it's fun to make this kind of analysis, and it really makes me want to try other analysis videos alongside the streams and other stuff on the channel. So now we're going to go back to the bottom of Hoenn again to revisit the Ruby side of things. If you want to make it back to the top to see it, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. With that though, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you back at the top later on because that is how we do life. I can't enjoy my breakfast! <laughs>